Hey, in this video, we're going to be going over a simple example of the nonlinear flare deformer inside of Maya. Hopefully this video will provide all the information you need so you feel confident to play around the tool yourself. Here we have a very basic shape. It's a vase, but it's a very boring vase. So let's spice it up with the flare deformer. Head up to deform nonlinear flare. Nothing will happen, but that's okay. Looking at the attributes, let's play around with the sliders, starting with the curve. You can see we get like a bulge on our mesh, or we can create this negative curve effect like so. Like many other deformers, we can rotate the flare handle, and in doing so, we can actually rotate the axis everything has been deformed on. And of course, you can move, scale, and really, changing the transforms can be a great way to get the deformer working for a lot of different scenarios. Right, so undoing all of that, let's talk about some of the other options. Starting with, well, the start flare X and Z. These both adjust the flare at the start of the deformer. So down here in this instance, adjusting the low bound will now allow us to adjust the lower boundary and move the start point of our flare. Likewise, we have end flare X and Z, which as you might have guessed, would have formed the opposite end of our object. Now, adjusting the high bound will adjust the end point and set the higher boundary. Having the handle visible in the viewport makes this process quite visual and helps make this tool much easier to use, as it's clear what is getting adjusted. It's a simple tool, but a good one to know about. If you found this video helpful, why not check out some of my others, consider becoming a Patreon to support the channel, and in doing so, grab yourself some perks like one-on-one -on -one help on the server via the members only chat, and a bunch of bonus downloads. Well, thanks for watching, hit subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video.